You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Pediatric stroke survivor Hayden Spradlin is coming home after a long battle. He couldn't use his left side at all. Even his, like, left, like his torso part was completely weak. He couldn't sit up. Um, he's learned how to move his foot again. He's learned how to move his shoulder again. Move, he's um, lifting his arm. Um, he literally had to relearn how to do every single thing on his left side. His brain just wasn't doing it. He suffered from an ischemic stroke, which is when a blood clot blocks or narrows an artery leading to the brain. I didn't know from day to day what was actually going to happen. You know, I never, I was worried he wouldn't walk. I, his voice was slurred, so I worried he would never speak right again. And then he couldn't eat and I was, because he was so weak. So I was worried he wouldn't ever be able to eat correctly again. It was just a lot of fear as a mom. You know, there was, it was all an unknown because pediatric strokes are not a very known thing. The medical professionals are unsure why this occurred, but they now have his seizures controlled. He will be part of a study at Nationwide Children's Hospital. But I, I, I stayed strong. If I cried, I scared him. So, you know, I would go hide in the bathroom and cry for a minute and come out and be composed for him, you know. Um, gosh, but you're strong. Are you tired? Although it will be a long road to recovery, his doctor told the family she couldn't believe everything he was already doing, and Spradlin stated the Nationwide Children's Hospital has played a big part in his progression. He was determined. He wanted to walk. He's an active child, and he was not going to let it stop him, and he did. The family has organized a welcome home parade tomorrow, Friday, March 24th. Everyone is welcome and cars can start lining up at 3.30 p.m. at the Mountain Arts Center. Hayden will pass by around 4 p.m. We can't, we cannot wait to be home. Can you say, thank you for praying for me? Thanks for praying for me. Reporting from Mountain Top News, I'm Ethan Miller.